Hey, what is up, guys? It's Rodiad here. Welcome to our Pokemon Light Platinum Nuzlocke series, episode 9. In the last episode, we got our Team Steam uniform, which makes us look really weird when we run because it's just the bike retextured. And we made our way to Esmeralda City. So, as you can see, we haven't done a single bit of grinding. But we have Jabba's the Krogunk level 22, holding the lucky egg, which we did get in the last episode, with Headbutt, Faint Attack, Poison Sting, and Revenge. Garjil the Drover level 23, with Metal Claw, Dig, Fury Swipes, and Scratch. Grovile, the Grovile, level 23 with Absorb, Pursuit, Quick Attack, and Cut. And my dog who just came up next to me. Ricky, I gotta record, mate. <laughs> and we got Alakid, the Alakid, level 23 with Thunder Punch, Quick Attack, Thief, and Light Scream. Ember, the Water Hunter, level 23 with Water Gun, Bite, Tackle, and Withdraw. And Quilava, the Quilava, or Stubbs, level 27 with Flamethrower, Tackle, Smoke Screen, and Quick Attack. So I'm pretty sure, because it's been a while since I've recorded, since, you know, Omega Ruby after Sapphire has been a thing. I'm pretty sure we have to go to the um, the this certain lab, which I'm guessing is here, because Ash and Red have the other taken care of, and everything's healed up. So why don't we go through and just walk right through the doors? Team Steam's personnel can enter to protect Mariana and Terra, the great Team Steam leaders. Behind those attacks on Esmeralda City. All right, I'm just gonna keep walking through. Just don't mind me. And rival battle, not rival battle. <laughs> I just use saying rival battle because there's so many rival battles in this. I do know that um, I was told a few episodes back because if you do not know, I do record in um, in advance. But I was no uh, let known or just told about. There we go. That's better English. That there is actually seven rival battles, and I'm just thinking seven rival battles is a crazy amount of rival battles to have. Like. And this, I'm thinking three is probably the best you can have. Like, you could have two main and then a side rival, I'm guessing. But still, seven rival battles? Like, who the hell cares about, like, I'd say Kenta as your rival battle, Red, and, um, I don't know, even if you want to do four, you can do those other two. One with the Krogunk and Benary. I've already forgotten their names. But things like, you know, Diamonds in there and everything. It's like, who the hell cares about Diamond? I love how we just walk through with the Team Steam uniform. And then we just take it off, like, alright, now we're in. Now, we're not going to make it easy on each, on ourselves and actually just go straight for the, um, straight through, walk past everyone and think we're a Team Steam member. But no, I'm guessing Team Steam's Pokemon is like a Sandile, because we've seen three of those. And I do love, um, Crocorock and Crocodile, but I do think that the names are a bit, you know, uncreative. I like Sandile, but Crocodile, it's like Crocodile just with two O's. But anyway, Drift Balloon. That's a flying type. Alakid. Oh, Shadow Tag. <sighs> Faint Attack. Let's see how much this does. It's kind of scary. Does this do more than half? That does more than half. I'm happy because I know you're not going to one hit kill. And Faint Attack's going to kill it. So, S Sandal. There we go. This episode is just going to be full of Sandals. If this continues, Sandal's just going to be on the thumbnail. It may not. It may not. Because I always decide it's going to be on the thumbnail, like, afterwards. And. Well, I'm doing editing, I'm like, okay, I've seen this Pokemon quite a bit, or this is a nice thing that's happened. But we can go up here. Is there anything to the left? We'll check. Um, Purloin. Headbutt. All I know is this lucky egg is helping out so much. And one thing, I'm not going to teach it, Swagger, but one thing that I've been told repeatedly during this LP is, for one, this game is extremely long, and two, the level jumps in this game are extremely... Um, What's the word? Where it's just like sporadic. It just comes out of nowhere. So, I'm going to actually be using the Lucky Egg just to get each other up. Because I'm pretty sure that the ace of the next gym is like late 20s. So, I'm going to aim for like level 28 or something like that. We can go into Grovar. Actually, we should probably switch someone else to the front now that we're level 24. Are you just water type? Because I know it's super effective, but... Oh, okay, so you're not a ground type. Okay, you learn something new every day, but... Absorb's not doing that much, because I want you to learn Mega Drain, Grovile. I want you to learn Mega Drain. I don't want to Mega Ruby enough for Sapphire. You get Mega Drain super early, which I'm in love with. But let's go into... Let's go into Jabbers again. Why not? Because you have Faint Attack, and that's going to do the most damage. Because that can 2 it kill Nightshade. We can take another one of those. And there we go. Um, Grunt, you you are okay, Grunt. I really, really want a Toxicroak. That's all I know. Toxicroak's an amazing Pokemon. Let's... Put the experience share on, uh, uh, not the experience share, the lucky egg on, I guess, Grovile, and we'll put him to the front, because Gargiel can hold himself more than, um, more than, more than Grovile, that's it. But anyway, we have Grimer, we can go back into Gargiel, speaking of which, and just go for a dig. That's going to be a two-turn move, but who cares, better not miss, better not miss, better not miss, 
There we go, Garjil. There we go. See, was that so hard? It wasn't hard at all. Boltoy, let's go into Grovile, actually, because Absorb, I feel like, is going to do the most because you're ground psychic type. Actually, how much will Fury Cutter do, I reckon? Because, um, no, Pursuit, sorry. Because you're also psychic type. That does about even. Um, let's just go for another Pursuit. We do have speed because Boltoys are slow as a mother. Let's go into Amber. Yeah, this is probably going to have Sandal on the thumbnail. If it doesn't, maybe we have like a giant battle and I'll put the Ace Trainer on there or like something like that. But, oh, wow. Did you use like, um, what, what is it? Torment or something like that? Tackle. No, you have Rage there. That's, that's okay. You're just raging. You're like, Arr. Um, let's switch you. I might need to go back and heal soon. I don't like how in these older games you have to like manually do that give and take. But what's over here? There doesn't seem to be anything here. There's an item. There's, uh, this Pokemon seems to have a Pokeball inside. I mean, this Pokeball seems to have a Pokemon inside. We should take the Zerua. Yeah, I'm... <laughs> I mean, it's a free Pokemon. You must have a free space in your party. Okay, well, we're going to pick up that Zerua. We're going to actually run back, deposit a Pokemon, pick up the Zerua, come back... And then drop it off, and then do all that little stuff. My party is full. I didn't mean to click that. But, I guess Zeru is going to be... No, why, why am I depositing Amber? I should be depositing Quilava, because he's got the most. And then, I'll just pick him up anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But, all I know is... Wait, can you let us in? Or do I have to go... Hey, I only... Oh, damn it. That's so annoying. <laughs> it's like, you've seen me. Maybe I just wanted to change. Uh, maybe my, my clothes were, like, sweaty as hell. But, um... The common question of the day is actually going to be, it's a bit of a different one, it's like, do you guys know how in 4th gen, they, ooh, okay, um, in 4th gen, wait, okay, can you, because the game always freezes when I pick something up for a second, I've got to speed it up, and then eventually it does, it. look, there we go, that took ages, but, um, first off, let's, what ability do you have, because I don't have, you got to intimidate, because there's no imposter in this gen, but, pretty much, I was thinking, like, in 4th gen, they incorporated a lot of new Pokemon evolutions to existing Pokemon like Yanmega, Mamoswine, Probopass, things like that Pokemon, right? And the common question today was going to be, what is your favorite, like, new evolution they added in 4th gen to a pre-existing Pokemon? Mine has to personally be either Mamoswine or Magnezone, for the simple reason that I've always liked, um, Magnezone, I mean, um... Not Magnazone, Magna Might, and then Magneton. Wait, hold on. We're gonna put on the suit, guys. We're gonna put on the suit. And um, I always love Swine. But if you guys have ever watched my top ten series, a while ago I used, I did a top ten pre-evolution. Ooh, actually, I don't know why this just occurred to me now, but we need to go to the mart and buy some Pokeballs because I should have done this earlier. But we only have two, and we don't. Do we have a lot of money? We can buy fifteen Pokeballs. That's quite a bit. Let's only buy. Um, we're going to spend a lot of money, but let's buy eight, and I guess we can buy two high potions and five full heals. That's going to be enough. We don't need revives or anything. But if you guys have ever watched my top 10 series, a while ago I did a top 10 pre-evolution series, and in, oh my goodness, <laughs> and in that series, I um, had Swinob as one of my top, like, top... In my, in my top 10 pre-evolutions, that's what I'm trying to say. Jeez, I shouldn't record in the morning. But, um, pretty much, I said I always liked Swine even before its um, evolution, or Mammoth Swine. But, I don't know, I just really like it. And people don't often use, like, Pillow Swine and things. But, Pillow Swine can be awesome as well. But, who do we want to lead off with? We have, you know what? I don't kind of, I kind of don't want to lead off with Gargiel. Because... He's got the Sandstorm, and if we never need to use him... Sandstorm got really close to killing Amber in the last episode. So I don't really want to use it. But we have two Pokemon up there. Can I, like, walk around and go, hey, how you going? I can. Can I just, like, steal the Pokemon without anyone knowing? No, I cannot. Um, let's talk to you. Da -da -dot. You again, you idiot! How do you keep managing to screw up our plans? You won't stop us this time, because uh, Marina and Terra, the two leaders of Team Steamy here... And they're strong enough to beat any trainer with ease. But I'll destroy you myself. I don't even remember you. I'm sorry if it's just been a while since I've recorded and I've seen you. But I just... Oh, wait, no. I think I do remember you. I think I do remember you. You died really easily. Amber, let's go for bite. Oh, yeah. And then you had a Ghastly, I'm pretty sure. And then it used Curse. And then I killed it in one hit with Bite. 
I'm pretty sure that's how it went. I could be wrong, but now it's a Haunter. What else did you have? Oh my goodness, I can't remember. I literally just re-watched episode 8, just so I can get back into the feel of recording, because it's been a while, because I actually recorded that the day um, before Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire came out, because I knew I wasn't going to be able to record for a little bit, because of Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. So I recorded a lot in advance, and now I'm starting to get back into the recording scene. And all I'm going to say is Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, I'm trying to, like, I've completed the whole thing, completed the Delta episode, and I've done a, a few shiny, I mean, not shiny, a few legendary encounters, things like that. I know this isn't going to one-hit kill, because Drift Limbs are frat, they're frat. I love Drift Limbs so much, he's so underrated in my opinion. But, um, what I was talking about is, I'm trying to do a living Pokedex of the Hoenn Pokemon, and... All the Pokemon need to be caught in Pokeballs. And the one thing that's really annoying is in the Delta episode, you gotta catch Rayquaza, then you have to go catch, um... Not only do you have to catch Rayquaza, you gotta catch, um, Deoxys, and battle that, um, Zarya, which I think is the best rival music, or, like, the overworld music. But you have to battle all them without having a single save point. And that is extremely annoying, because I actually, like, caught Rayquaza in a Pokeball, then beat the trainer, no problem, and then... Deoxys got critical hitted because it has like cosmic power and nothing was doing damage to it and then a critical a critical hit and because critical hits um don't like they don't mind stat changes like they'll pass through it or anything like that so it was really annoying I had to do it again but impossible I'm much stronger now but you still managed to beat me easily what's going on and you got a thousand and forty bucks for winning but, well, it looks like you're getting stronger every day because you managed to beat me again. But you get here too late. Oh, you got here too late. Marina has taken the blue orb and Terra's taking the red. Are oh, you going to do some primal evolution? Oh, by the way, if you guys do remember, I made a Pokemon Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, like, announcement video right when it was announced. And I had the theory that the red stone and the blue stone were going to be the mega stones for uh, um, Kyogre and Groudon. Obviously, they're primal, but I'm really happy because my predictions never seem to be correct. But anyway... Um, Sheila, quit playing with him. Let's go. Terra and I have taken the two orbs. Well, I could have taken it too if that potted plant wasn't in the way when I sneaked up to the side. But now we have just got uh, to go to uh, Sandport City um, to finally achieve our goals. Let's go, Team Steam. Hut, hut, hut. <laughs> um, hello, friend. Thanks for helping us. I'm, oh, wait. Is, is this the girl? But hello, friend. Thanks for helping us. I'm Esmeralda. Actually, I feel like you'd be like, I'm Esmeralda, the gym leader of Esmeralda City. Um... Uh, this is uh, Professor Rowan. He's from Sinnoh, and he's in Zeri studying the Pokemon of his region as well as some ancient legends. Um, thanks for your help, Esmeralda. Um, and I were captured by those Team Steam members while we were uh, researching the blue and red orbs. Team Steam stole them because they had great and terrible power. Our research into the orbs has been stopped. I'll return to my gym. I'll continue the research. Goodbye, Professor. Um, come challenge me at the- Alright, goodbye professor, come challenge me at the gym, Nick. And I'm just like, okay, well, catch you later. They tend to walk a lot way, really slowly, but what do you have to say, dot dot <sighs> You're, you're like, a man of many words, but what do you have to say? Welcome to Esmeralda Cine Botanic Lab. Here you can find the results of new research in the mysteries of grass Pokemon. And if you do remember, I think one episode, or two episodes back, it was told that Quilava was going to be a grass type, um, the next- Gym is going to be grass type, so Quilava is going to be amazing in it, but there's no evidence to suggest that Celebi has healing properties and can help any grass Pokemon to recover from injuries. I don't know if that's a wink wink nudge nudge Celebi is going to be in the game, but welcome to Esmeralda City Botanic Lab, you can find the research, okay, you, you say the same thing, and you say the same thing, again, like I said in a few episodes back, it's really abundant with the text they reuse, but I work in the lab for out, four hours a day, it's hard to work, but I really enjoy it. Congratulations. Uh, if, if you enjoy your work, that's the best thing. Because if you enjoy it, you will be more likely to wake up in the morning and just be like, Yeah, I've got work. Instead of, Ugh, I've got work. But I know the video hasn't been long at all, but I don't know if I should do a grinding montage before the gym. Because I think the ace levels are like 27. And I know I'll be using Quilava, but I'm pretty sure they have... I don't know what they have. They could have like a grass ground type because games like this like to screw you over. Um, like if it was a water gym, you, they could have like water fire. They could have a volcano on or something. I don't know. Or like if it's a grass, they could have Ludicolo. Things like that. They like to stuff me up. What's some grass 
ground types. The only one that comes to my mind is Torterra or like Grottle. I'm pretty sure it's pre-evolution. I don't know. If, I don't even know if that's ground. But I don't think they'll have it. It's level 27. They have level 36. So why don't we lead off with? Let's lead off with Gajil. I don't know. It's grass type. I'll. How about this? We'll take on the gym, and we'll do our best, and we'll do some grinding at the start of the next episode. Hopefully that will work. Um, I guess Sandile's not going to be on the thumbnail anymore. <laughs> but you know what? It's okay. Actually, if we're going to take on the gym, I'll have to do a lot of grinding. So I don't. It doesn't bother me that Palava is going to be getting some levels. Actually. Let's take the lucky egg and let's just give him the lucky egg because he's gonna get trained anyway. And I guess we'll give um no your grass type. Um I don't know, let's give Grovile the amulet coin for some reason. For some diggity damn reason. Actually, 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 actually. We're not gonna take on the gym this this time. I feel really bad, but I just thought of it like it's gonna take quite a while. And I know you guys have been really enjoying longer episodes, like 20, 25 minutes, and I will try to do that. But I'm going to try to, um, try to, you know, explore the city and slow that down just so you guys can see, like, how it would be if we did do that. Um, I'm actually going to train up to, I guess, level 28 with every Pokemon in the next episode. Hopefully level 28. It's going to be easier with the Lucky Egg, but we'll talk to you guys later. Let's go in here. What do you have to say? Um, you've got to be careful with some trainers. Sometimes they can be stronger than you think. Um, so you're just saying there's going to be a bunch of level spikes, but don't worry, it's all part of the game. But Dan likes to travel and explore mountains and caves. He's been all over Zeri. Well, I haven't because I haven't played this game before, but if you can evolve into various Pokemon, for example, it evolves into Umbreon and the Night and Espeon during the day. I thought you were going to give me an, um, an EV. I was going to be quite happy, but Pachirisu, man. Do you have six Pokemon in your party? Yes. Come back when you have a free space. I have a gift for you. Okay, then. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Is he gonna give us like a Pachirisu or something? Let's just deposit Amber real quick because we will pick her up right after this. But let's go. Um, no, 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 no. We do not. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Received an Eevee egg. This Eevee egg will be very useful when it hatches. An Eevee will be um, helpful in your journey across the Zeri region. I might do grinding and have it in my party. Because an Eevee to have in the box would not be a bad idea because... Although we have, um, like a fire type, water type, we have grass types, um, we can also have a psychic type, which we really need, we have dark types in the PC, but I'm just thinking, um, a lot of, like, psychic would be an extremely useful type to have as a backup, because I'm quite happy with how the team looks now, but it can always be improved, because we have, like, single type, single type, um, dual type, single type, single, single. Like, it can always be improved. But anyway, let's continue talking to you. Uh, Esmeralda City contains the largest center in the botanical research. Good on you. What about you? What do you have to say? I feel like you're going to be nice. Esmeralda City uses the grass types. It's very strong and is really um, defeated by trainers. Oh, is it now? Is it a Mega Venusaur with thick fat? Then I don't think so. Bug Pokemon and grass Pokemon live together happily in the greenhouse. Uh, it's the old man from before. <laughs> He's just going to be like our spirit guide, and he's just going to randomly just come around with us. But I'll give you a valuable item to make your Pokemon stronger. Obtain the Lucky Punch. That's Pachancy, which isn't even really that good because you'd usually run Eviolite. But this Lucky Punch will help you a lot on your journey. You'll equip it to a Pokemon, they get stronger. But I'm pretty sure it's just Chansey. Uh, you raise this Chansey's critical hit rate. Um, Esmeralda City is dominated by Grass Pokemon because they represent nature and harmony. Okay then, um... In Esmeralda City, everyone likes Grand Pokemon because they always help people in need. Uh, what do you have to say? My Pikachu isn't feeling well. I'm on my way to the Pokemon Center to cure it. Peek, 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 peek. It, was, it looked kind of happy to me. I got, tried to give it like a sad voice, but it looked pretty happy. How come the doors with um with um Star Lays on the top are always locked, huh? Huh? Esmeralda City, the gym uses grass types. It's very strong and it's real. Actually, we can catch a Pokemon here. Because we have been given two gift Pokemon, but in this um, in this let's play, we are going to be using um, gift Pokemon as a different encounter. It's not the set. It's like it's a different encounter. It's not the same. So we can actually catch a Pokemon in here. And what's it going to be? It's probably going to be a Magikarp, but it's a good rod, so it could be like a Tentacool or something. I don't know. It's a Whalemar, level thirty. Oh my goodness! 
Oh my goodness, Jesus me. Well, <laughs> I'm going to go into Grow Well because he has Absorb and he's going to get some, some health back when things happen. And Absorb can do a decent chunk. Um, Whirlpool, we can speed this up because look, I don't want to take him down too much. And I know Alakid is um, electric, but I don't feel like he can take a hit well. Um, I'm going to have to just use a bunch of soup potions. Do I have any soup potions? Do I have any soup potions? I have one soup potion. Do I have a normal potion? I do have one normal potion. Let's use that. Roll out. Okay. Um, can I switch out? Into amber? No, I cannot. Um, I'm going to use the soup potion we have. And then if he misses, we'll continue. If he doesn't, we'll, we'll run away. Because we cannot afford to... Actually, we can probably go for a hype potion. I don't, I don't want to waste hype potions, but I really want this Whelmer. Roll out. Okay. Oh, oh, no, Grovel. Don't die. Don't die, Grovel. 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 Freed from Whirlpool. Okay, we're running. We're running. Oh, my goodness. That was scary. That was scary. That was scary. Anyway, that was unnecessarily scary, as I was talking about earlier, but I'm going to end the episode off here, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did enjoy this episode, leave a like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Do all that good stuff. Really helps me out. Follow my Twitter if you haven't. The link will be in the description below. Don't forget to answer the comment question of the day, which is what is your favorite fourth gen evolution that they added to older Pokemon? And yeah, don't really have much else to say. This has been a Rodiad. We'll catch you guys later. Peace.